I'm Chris with iPhone in Canada. I have a look at a new screen shield just unveiled today from Belkin. It's the True Clear InvisiGlass for the iPhone 5. Now what sets this one apart from Belkin's other screen protectors? Well, it's made of 100% real flexible glass. Belkin claims it's nine times stronger than the competition, two and a half times smoother than plastic screen protectors, and is amazingly thin at only two millimeters. So, in theory, when you have it on your phone, you should experience the same feel as if you had no screen protector on at all. So, let's take a look at what you get inside the box. You, of course, get your screen protector. You also have a cleaning cloth, an adhesive film for removing dust, and a plastic card to get bubbles out. There's also instructions on how you should install it. Myself, I've always had issues with dry install protectors and much prefer the wet installs, but I know for many others, it's the other way around. So for my install, I have a few more items. I like to use compressed air to remove dust from the screen, and I also have some cleaner, which I'll show you why in a second. So, the install is fairly easy. Clean your screen with the cloth, then it says to use the adhesive film to get any dust off. This is where I use the compressed air. Next, you peel off the number one side. Belkin suggests you put the screen protector on from the side of the phone. I did try this and couldn't get the holes to line up properly, so I found starting from the top or bottom, lining up the home button or front camera first worked best for me. I used the plastic card to push down the shield as I went along. This helps keep the air bubbles to a minimum. If you have any air bubbles left at this time, you can push them out as well. Now, here's where the spray comes in handy. You could even use a little water. I find the card slides a lot easier over the shield if it's a little bit wet. Once you're happy the bubbles are all gone, just peel off the other side and you should be done. If you see any other bubbles at this point, I would suggest using a little liquid on the screen to push out the bubbles. I was surprised, usually using a plastic card at this point would leave little marks or thin scratches on the shield, but with Belkin's Invisiglass, there was none. So its claim of a stronger screen protector passed its first test. But how does it perform? Well, I've been using my iPhone 5 with the Invisiglass for a week now without any issues. As I would expect, the screen shield is still crystal clear with no scratches or marks, even after carrying my phone around in my pocket with keys and change and other stuff inside. That's always a really good sign of a quality screen shield. I was really skeptical about the glass screen shield and if it would come close to a naked iPhone screen, but I'm impressed. If I didn't know the Invisiglass was on, I'd be hard pressed to tell if my iPhone 5 had a screen shield on or not. Having never tried a glass screen shield before, I can't say how the Belkin Invisiglass stacks up to others, but I can say the feel is incredibly noticeable compared to non-glass screen shields. As for clarity, I can honestly say I've never had a screen protector that's this clear. I'm not saying other screen shields aren't clear, but when you put the Invisiglass on, it really looks like there's nothing on your screen. The iPhone 5's retina display shines through with all its clarity. I was shocked at how much clearer the screen looked compared to the previous screen shield I had on, which was touted as an HD shield for better clarity. Again, I'm not saying the other one was bad, it's just Belkin has stepped up the game when it comes to clarity. Overall, I'm very happy with the Belkin True Clear and Visi Glass for the iPhone 5. It looks and feels great. It performs as advertised. I did, however, have issues with the install. It can be a little tricky to line everything up properly, but I attribute that a lot more to my lack of skills with dry application of screen protectors. If you're in the market for a screen protector, I recommend taking a look at the Belkin True Clear Invisiglass. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love a like. It does help me grow my channel. Also, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. For more daily iOS and Apple news, make sure you check out iPhoneInCanada.ca. I'm Chris with iPhone in Canada. Thanks for watching.